Hey everybody, Brandon Boyd with The Brandon Boyd Show. Thank you so much for watching. As always, don't forget to be awesome. Give me a big thumbs up on the video if you find it entertaining or helpful and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notifications for alerts if you want the latest information on credit cards, points, miles, travel, and everything in between. And that it even includes the times that I'm on vacation. I'm sitting here at the Waldorf Astoria in Orlando. Of course, I'm covering the stay with points and my flights down here were free as well. You know that's how we roll on this channel. This is a Hilton property, so I booked five nights on points. So book for the fifth night's free when you book on points. So that's how we do things here. Not only do I show you strategies of how to earn these points, but I live it every single day, every single week. I've traveled like a madman here recently. And I think it's important that you see exactly what the outcomes look like here. So that's why you've seen on the channel some reviews of resorts, some lounges, because I want to put two and two together here and show you what the big reward is at the end of the day. That's also why I'm wearing my tie-dye t-shirt. This is vacation mode, baby. I'm in my hat. I'm in my shirt. I'm in my hotel room. I'm enjoying myself, getting ready to head down to the pool. But before I do so, I came across some news that I thought was very important and worthy of a video just to update everyone. If you're familiar with this channel, you know that I like the American Express Business Platinum Card at $595 for an annual fee. I think you get a ton of value out of it, including the $200 airline credit and much, much more. However, some recent news came out that there's now new enhanced benefits. Now, what is an enhanced benefit and what are the new benefits with this card? Well, I'm going to tell you, first of all, one big enhancement was the annual fee. No, God, please, no, no. Okay, the annual fee bumped up from $595 to $695. And on the surface, you may say, geez, Louise, can you stop increasing the annual fees? And I agree with you. I totally understand where you're coming from. However, looking at these benefits, I think they way more than offset the annual fee cost. Even if you're not a large business that's going to utilize all the credits, you really only need to utilize one of the new credits and you'll come out ahead on all this. It's important to know that if you want to avoid this annual fee increase, then you need to apply before January the 13th because that's when the annual increase will take effect. So think about that. You could secure a $595 annual fee, which is the current fee, right now and still receive all these enhanced and new benefits. So if you were thinking about it, get on it and take advantage now. And even when the annual fee increases, I think these new benefits way more than offset that additional cost. I'm gonna pull this up on my iPad in front of me because I'm getting this information uh, as new as everyone else is. So I'm pulling this up on the website right now. So you can see on the public facing website right now, the current welcome offer is 120,000 membership rewards with $15,000 spend in three months, which is a really good offer. However, my wife applied under my referral link, which will be down in the description below, and she was able to get 150,000 membership rewards as a welcome offer. So do your due diligence, check out that link to see if it pops up as 150,000, it did for her, and she was able to apply for the card and get that. An unboxing video will be coming, and we'll detail the entire card as a whole, but this video is gonna be dedicated to all the new stuff. As I pull this up, the first thing you'll notice is that you'll earn not only 1.5 times points on purchases of $5,000 or more, you can now earn 1.5 times points on select business categories. And just looking at this, those categories are construction material and hardware supplies, electronic good retailers and software and cloud system providers, and shipping providers. So again, that's an enhanced benefit. You could earn 1.5 times before, but you had to have really large purchases and that is no longer the case. So that's an enhanced benefit. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say the word enhanced here, but that's the verbiage that American Express is using. So please forgive me, just overlook that. It should be noted that although you do get 1.5 times membership rewards with certain purchases, in my case, I have the Blue Business Plus card, which earns two times membership rewards. So for me, it makes sense to use the Blue Business Plus card to get the two times membership rewards as opposed to earning 1.5 times membership rewards. But if you don't have the Blue Business Plus, this 1.5 times multiplier is not a bad deal at all. There's 0% APR for the first year. One really exciting benefit that I cannot wait to use is the new Dell credit. Now you're aware with the American Express Business Platinum, you were able to get $100 in credit during the first half of the year and $100 in the second half of the year to use online at Dell stores to purchase whatever you want to. I purchased some noise canceling headphones for travel from there. You can pick out a lot of different things. However, American Express is now doubling that benefit from $200 annually to $400 annually, meaning that you have $200 in the first half of the year, $200 in the second half of the year to purchase whatever the heck you want on Dell.com. And there's a lot of different options. You've got computers, you've got accessories, you've got storage. There's a lot of different options on there. And I'm thinking about birthday and Christmas gifts. You can get some really sweet gifts for people and they don't have to know that you used a Dell credit to get it, right? Nobody has to know. 
$200 goes a long way on there. You can get a really nice pair of noise canceling headphones with a carrying case and the whole nine yards when you're traveling on the plane using your points and miles like I am. You can easily get a really nice pair of headphones for that price. So I think this is a huge benefit and way more than offsets that annual fee increase of $100. And there's another way you can offset this annual fee easily, and that is with the new $120 annual wireless credit. That's $10 a month in wireless credit that you can get when you pay your cell phone bill. So think about that. $10 per month, $120 a year. What was the annual fee increase? $100. So you're still coming out ahead, even though they're jacking up the annual fees, you're still going to come out better in the end. And for me, this is terrific because I already get $15 in wireless credit on my Marriott Bonvoy business card. I get $10 in credit on my Hilton Biz card. And now I get another $10 on this card. So doing the quick math, that's $35. I get off my cell phone bill essentially by the time the credits come through every single month. And my wife has some cards that will be able to take advantage of this as well and she gets an additional $25. So we get $60 off our cell phone bill every month just using credits from different cards. It's a pretty good setup and I'm really excited about this one. Again, if you just took advantage of this credit alone, you would more than offset the cost of the annual fee increase. So don't let that annual fee freak you out and keep you from applying for this card. I'm freaking out right now, man. There are some other benefits included in here that I think may not apply to everyone unless you're a really serious business doing something. And I'm just looking at this here. You get a $360 Indeed credit. So if you're looking at hiring employees for your business or adding to your team, then that certainly is a great benefit. But for the everyday user like myself that just runs things on my own, I'm probably not gonna use that. And you also have a $150 Adobe credit. Again, probably not something that I'm gonna use and probably not something that a lot of people are gonna be able to take advantage of unless you're into that in a real serious business way. I am not. As it stands now, overall, I'm very excited about these changes. I know the annual fee increase sucks, but if they are offsetting it and way more than offsetting it, I don't see what the problem is. Let me know what you think down in the comments. We have a lot of new viewers in the Points and Miles community that watch this channel, so anything that you can share down in the comments is going to help everybody. Do you think this card is getting out of hand with their annual fee? Obviously, we saw the annual fee increase with the standard platinum card as well. Are you getting sick and tired of them bumping up the prices on the annual fee? Let me know down in the comments. I still think it's a good deal. If you found this video helpful or mildly entertaining, don't forget to be awesome. Give me a big thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notifications for alerts. And when you click on the Brandon Boyd Show, you are going to get the latest information on credit cards, points and miles, travel money, and everything in between, even when I'm on vacation. And I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. I'll see you soon.